Okay, guys, today's freaking show day. I'm kind of just bundled everything up. I have my whole duffel bag with everything that I packed up last night. My voice is so groggy. I'm tired, but I'm so ready. I'm so excited. I've got my suit. Heels are packed. Pretty sure I've got everything. Um, <clears throat> I just sent in a quick check in photos to my coach. See if she has anything else to adjust to my diet to today. Otherwise, we're almost going to go minute by minute. Well, hour by hour, if anything. So, got to pack everything up. Um, go eat my first meal. And then head off to the venue. All right, so real quick, but meal one that I have is 50 grams of my vegan meat, two rice cakes with 10 grams of peanut butter and 10 grams of dark chocolate. I could have done like the either or, but I figured why not do chocolate and peanut butter? And then, voila, pop it in the microwave. It's magic. And then on top of that, I'll also have some honey, so put that on I'm making some coffee and then I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast all right guys so I am all packed up food wise I've got to get the sweet treats because those are in a separate bag hidden in the garage and then we're ready to go Finishing up with wellness and then bikini should be starting soon, like true novice, like the master classes. So 35, 45, 55, and then novice. So I'm still pumping up back here, but I'm excited. Get better number 255, Katya Vital. not go as I hoped was pushed to the outside with both novice and open so it's a really tough competition this class was big um, still proud of myself for doing it but I was hoping I'd do better so there's gonna be a lot of work need to be done I'm gonna talk to my coach and figure out plans. We're gonna be doing a good off season, but we have still finals to go and I need to eat because I'm starving. <sighs> so yeah. Mm. So here's a little bit of the hotel. The Marriott Marquis in San Diego. Beautiful. The man, the myth, the legend, the Brian. <laughs> oh, I like the makeup they did this time. I'm really happy. I told them, I was like, last time they made me look like some weird Barbie and I did not like it, so. Okay, it's 10 p.m., 10.30, what time is it? It's 11. It's 11! Almost, almost 11. Nearly 11 and the show finally finished. So we're not gonna be able to get ramen until tomorrow, but 
the Brian got donuts, so we shall try them. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want to try? Um. Okay. Hold on. So, what what was it that you got again? So. Scoot over here. <laughs> we got the lemon coconut. Lemon coconut. Ford Street, which oh is God. the pretzel, peanuts, caramel, chocolate. The PB and J one you wanted. Oh my gosh! And then the it's like Boston. Bavarian cream. Yeah, Boston? yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know. Um, I I'm gonna try the Boston cream because okay. I don't know if I've ever had something like that before in my life. Oh boy, howdy! <laughs> this is gonna break apart. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, howdy! It's okay. It's okay. To look at the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. Try it, babe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't mind skipping out on ramen, but God bless donuts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Holy. SHRT. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, even pre vegan, I can't remember the last time I had that kind of cream in a donut. There's like extra cream right here. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, one of the kids knocked it over. Oh my gosh! Yeah, while well, you're getting pictures, I was almost assaulting a, a preteen. <gasps> Brian assaulted a child. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your pick for the next one to try. I want to try the PB and J. PB and J. Okay. Ooh, that mm, This is a fat one. Do you remember yeah. the name of it? No, but you sent me the picture of it. Okay. You sent me the name of it. Okay, because it's different from the PB and J that I had. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like stuffed with cream and then peanut. Oh my gosh. Queen Bee. Holy Bob Saga. It's called the Queen Bee. And I think the other one was uh, West Park. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Can I take the other half? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, okay. That's delicious. Eating time. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Holy cow. Mm, I like the gel. It's like that same cream that was in the other one. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the other quarter? That's for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should have brought napkins. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. It was great. Oh, yeah. Good. It was awesome. Longest show I've been to. <laughs> but it was well put on and well Thank you so done much. together. Yes. Thank you. The Excalibur is, uh, we have a history of being a very large show. Oh, is it? Okay. Because I've done muscle contests before. Yeah. And I just made it ran very just well. just happens to be this particular show is insanely huge. Yeah. That's what people are saying. <laughs> Alright, which one next? Which one was this one? That's the so Broad yeah, Street. It was, a, it was an exciting show for me. It was. Thank <laughs> you so much. Yeah. The Broad, Broad Street. Street. So pretzels, peanuts, caramel chocolate. Okay. I want to try that. Okay. Oh boy, howdy. That's a thing, boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, it was falling over. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Come to another show. Come to another show. Come to another show. Have a good night. That guy's like the event coordinator of this entire thing. So that was kind of cute though. Yeah. Talking to us. But anyways, the important side of this all. <laughs> oh gosh. 
I'll take that piece. You I'll sure? Okay. So it's it looks like a, like a plain, regular vanilla donut with chocolate, peanut, pretzel, and caramel. Yep. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Fluffy, even though they've been sitting all day. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. These donut places in Encinitas. And they make them custom. And like a bunch of them can be made like vegan or gluten free. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't. Mm. I'll have to wait till the lemon coconut to start my favorite, but like. They're all so good. So far, the uh, the B one was the best. How is that? So far. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. 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 Oops. <laughs> okay, lemon, lemon coconut. Yep. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ooh, she's lemony. Oh, I like that yellow cream. I don't know. That, yeah, kind of seen. Let me cleanse my palate. God, I wish I had water today. I know, my water bottle's in my bag. Mmm. That's good. That lemon. Mmm. That's lovely. Oh, that's Just lovely. Refreshing. Exactly. Perfect ending. Mm -hmm. The palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. How I'll always cleanse my palate from now on with lemon coconut donuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coach is like, why'd you gain five pounds in one week? <laughs> donuts. <laughs> donuts. You said I could have a carb source. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. The first one, the Bavarian cream one. My favorite. That's overall? My overall. They all kind of were equal though. In like second, third place. Yeah? Okay, so. If you had to rank them, one to four. Here we are. Yay. One to four. One, the Bavarian cream. Okay, it's a clear winner. Mm, I don't know. Two. Honestly, I might say the lemon coconut. Okay. It's a very nice lemony taste. Yeah. Three, PBJ. And then four, the the Broad Street? Or what was yeah, it called? Broad Street. Broad Street. Mm -hmm. How about you? Mine is the PBJ, mm. then the Bavarian cream, mm. the lemon, and then Broad Street. Yeah. I'm just gonna scrape every bit, cause I can. Oh, look it up. You earned it. I earned it. So, no placement for me tonight. Holy crap, there were so many people. Like, from the time I went backstage, it was like over an hour or two. No, it was insane. There was That you were waiting there? That, yeah, there was classic, no. classic physique itself took like an hour and a half. To yeah, go through. because they all have their little separate routines, so it was ridiculously it was long. Closer, probably like two hours. Yeah, it was like between four and five hundred entrance com com competitors. Yeah, no, for, like final started at like what four fifteen, four thirty, four around four thirty. Final started, and we just finished the women, mm -hmm. and it's ten p.m. So we are tired. We have work tomorrow, so <laughs> I'm gonna go home. Tomorrow, we'll finish up on treats and ramen. And you'll get to see him, because he's cute. Mm, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna scrape the donuts. <laughs> so I'm finally home, and it's like almost 12 o'clock. And I have work the next day, but there is something I would like to try before I go to bed. And then I have some other treats that I do want to try with my boyfriend. So we're going to go ahead and try it. One of them is some ice cream that I've had in the freezer for quite some time. I have had it, but it hasn't been since before 
prep that I had it. And then for a friend's giving, I made crack pie. No, not crack pipe, nor crack pie, but Momofuku's milk bar crack pie. And I made it vegan. And I had to like revamp the recipe to make it vegan. So if you guys want to see the recipe for that, be more than happy. So I have some pie left. So I'm going to get myself. Oh no. <gasps> JK, we're not having any pie. It looks like it went bad. No, I'm so sad. Uh, okay, never mind. All right, that's okay because I have Oreos. We've got ice cream. I've got some like vegan Nutella, peanut butter. We've got other treats. So we're going to make like a sundae of some sorts. So let's go figure that out. All right, so we're going to make ourselves an ice cream sundae. I hope you can hear me over the sounds going on over here, but... We've got dairy-free peanut butter brownie. since these came out, I've been wanting to try them. But Lint came out with oat milk chocolate bars. So there's there's like the regular oat milk, like I guess it's supposed to be like milk chocolate, and then salted caramel. It's like a milk chocolate. Okay, salted caramel. Mmm, mmm. really good. And last but not least, I found this different brand of, I guess, supposed to be a vegan Nutella. Gooey. So it's supposed to be low sugar, dairy free, palm oil free, which I don't care about the low sugar, but it's vegan. So I figured I would try this out. Usually Nutiva makes a really good vegan Nutella that tastes just like Nutella. So I'm excited to try this brand. Oh my. Oh. oh, weird. It is gooey, like a different texture, but it's very hazelnutty. Wow. Mmm. It's like a slightly gooier Nutella. Wow. Mmm. That's really good. Okay, I am also very thirsty, so. Okay. Here we go. This is nuts. <laughs> I wish my boyfriend was here to 
enjoy this with me <laughs> or at least watch me enjoy this i don't know it's different when you're enjoying something with someone like even when i was on prep and i would go out with him to get food and like i'd bring my food and then he can pick whatever he's want. i just enjoyed like watching him enjoy food there's something about it i don't know like even though he's in place in any top five in any of my categories like oh my gosh this was the biggest show ever i mean like we were saying the final started at like 4 30 and we finished around like 10 30. that's crazy so many competitors nuts so i was going against a lot of girls um we're all going to try to bring our a game you know and i'm just happy i beat my last time I competed physique, so <laughs> it's better than going backwards. So I'm stoked, but it puts a fuel under my butt to do a lot harder. And I mean, now, however many years I take off with this one year tears, I'm not gonna have my CPA in the way. So I'll be able to give more effort. I, I would say into like gym and all that kind of stuff so mm. Mm. I'm definitely gonna have a stomach ache and it's definitely gonna be worth it a lot of sweetness Mm. The wafers are so good. They were like a dollar on Amazon. And they had like vanilla, strawberry, hazelnut, I think like pistachio. I think I forgot what other flavors they had. I'm definitely gonna get a stomach ache. How do competitive eaters not get a stomach ache from sweet challenges? Like, are they that used to eating that many sweets? No more sweets. <laughs> I got that out of my system. Mm. Okay. All right, so I had gotten off, um, the camera after having the ice cream because my boyfriend wanted to FaceTime because he was about going to bed. Which, speaking of sleep, it is 1 a.m. So I need to go to bed because I have work tomorrow. But I scrubbed off all the makeup. I still have tan. That's why I'm wearing this around my neck. And I took off all that I could off my hands and my feet. So I just have the long sleeves and sweatpants so that I hopefully don't get any on my bed sheets because... I don't have time to like scrub down my body so I'm just gonna do it tomorrow um we'll probably have to wash alongside these clothes because I can't imagine how much tan is all up in the fibers of my clothing clothing now um but yeah we're gonna have ramen tomorrow so this vlog video is not quite over yet because your girl has to have her ramen that Sunday was a bit over the top I definitely uh overdid it with the sugar but it was worth it I enjoyed it I'm happy I did it since yeah it's just ugh it reminds me why I enjoy eating healthy <laughs> now I'm ready for another prep no I'm just kidding we've got a lot of building to do um yeah gonna have a conversation with my coach tomorrow regarding moving forward plans um so I'll fill you guys in with that detail as well Hi, it's me again, back to being nice, pasty white. Gosh, my voice is always so deep in the morning. Anyways, so it's the morning after the show. I'm at my desk because I have work today. Um, woke up a little late, but it happens. Anyways, yeah, so diet-wise today, I mean, of course, I'm planning on getting ramen later with my boyfriend because we've been planning on that. Um, I really want to try some holiday Christmassy drinks at Starbucks since those are out now. This morning I had a few more of those wafer bars because they're delicious. Um, I've got oats with 
only like 30 grams of oats, 30 grams of protein powder, um, 50 grams of berries. I did just throw in like half a banana, a little bit of that Nutella that I tried last night just to spruce it up. And then like I'm having my coffee, but as I normally drink it with the 80 grams of soy milk. So I'm not trying to go like overboard today. Still stay pretty reasonable until um, I talk with my coach later today and kind of figure out a game plan for moving forward. And also I'll be gone for Christmas. So like just a good guideline for me to stick to so that I don't just like, you know, blow up and wait while I'm gone. So yeah, that's breakfast. Looks delicious. I'm excited. I love breakfast. I love sweet breakfasts. So my stomach is recovered from all that sugar yesterday. So yeah, I'll loosely take you guys along today with me as well. Okay, so I've been really wanting to try the chestnut praline latte from Starbucks because I've had the sugar cookie latte and that's pretty damn good. So I ordered one with like soy milk and without the whipped cream. So I'm going to go quickly pick it up at Starbucks right down my street because they have a drive through and then I'll try it with you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Okay, you guys. We got the goods. Okay, so. Yes, it's like their chestnut praline latte. I got it with soy milk. Let's see if they did it right. Yep, soy, only two pumps of the syrup, no whip, of course. So, and like, usually it's a grande, and I just gotta tall, cause <laughs> I don't wanna overdo it. But let's give it a sip, of Rooney. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm glad I only did two pumps of the praline stuff, because, bruh. I can taste it. its sweetness, and luckily it's not over sweet sweetened because I did the two pumps. So, because in tall it says it usually comes with three pumps, and then in like a grande, or is that a grande? I don't know. Grande, it's like four pumps. So I'm like, oh gosh, that's a lot. So this is perfect. I love it. Not as creamy as I was expecting for a latte. But it's all right, you know. So I have the toppings. Let's see. Oh yeah, I guess it does. Mmm. Okay. Maybe it could be a little sweeter. I know that sounds weird. So maybe I'll add a little stevia when I get home. Anything with these nails? Are you ready? Yeah. What are you gonna eat? I don't know. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the holy grail. <laughs> we we have found it. We made it. We made it. 24 hours later, we did it. I know. Ah. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. The hole in the wall with my most favorite favorite ramen. Who would have guessed? Sunshine Kitchen. <laughs> and then Sponsor we can go us. get fun. <laughs> he got his food. And that's all he gets. I'm on a cut too. <laughs> I love how they bring it out in different orders. <laughs> That's good though. Yeah, yeah. So you got the handle instead of like the roll. Mm hmm Yeah. It's cheaper. Bye. Mm hmm Good? Oh. Yes. <laughs> love it. Love it. I'll probably have his ginger because I love ginger. And he's not a big ginger person. Mm hmm It's vegan. This isn't. <laughs> Blinking red? Yeah, yeah. Going red. The ramen. <laughs> Might as well just try it without the, the sriracha. The first sip. Oh! Mm. Mm. Seriously, the best. I love it. Mm. Oh, there's your sushi. Oh. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh my gosh, That's look at that. That's look at that. Oh my gosh. This place is so bad for ramen. If you're in Oceanside, Sunshine Kitchen for vegan ramen. 
And sushi. Like, look, that's just like beautiful. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna eat because the cameraman is hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I put a fair dent. That's a dent. It's a dent. It was delicious. I'm sorry. Pardon the lighting, it is the afternoon. Anyways, I wanted to quickly end this video. It's been a bit of time before filming this ending part, but I just wanted to give an overall uh, just explanation of my plans for this next year, competing, whether I'm competing again this year or whatnot. So talk to my coach and you know, we figured the best thing is to do another about a year off season. Now that I'm done with the CPA, I can just give this my full focus. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna plan on doing any other kind of exams or schooling yet. Been thinking about doing my MBA, but I'm not 100% on that yet, because that could be up to two years of time, even if I were to do part-time. And I just wanna see where I can take the bodybuilding at the very least, and see where at least my CPA will take me uh, career-wise. Um, so I'm excited to go through a, an off-season. Honestly, I'm filming this in January, and I'm still only about five or six pounds up from my stage weight. We've been taking things slow just to get hormones back to normal slowly and easily. Um, so soon we're gonna do some blood work, see where everything is at, just to get my health in check and then, yeah, figure it out from there. Been just getting back into lifting, it's been feeling really good. Uh, working with some coaches for just to help me with power lifting and form and stuff, just to help me with my SI joint and whatnot. So. This year, it'll be a lot of, you know, whether it's workout footage, course protein reviews, all that kind of fun stuff. So if there's anything in particular you guys want to see along this bodybuilding journey, please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will let you go. It's been a long video, so give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and do subscribe, and I'll catch you for the next protein review. That's what's coming up for y'all. Bye.